Hey everybody, welcome to episode number three of Inside the Nest from right here at the Skybox at McKeon Park. And alongside me here today, Ohio State Buckeye, Cape Cod Baseball League All-Star Trey Lipsy. Trey, how you doing, man? Doing well, doing well. Excited to be here. Oh, so great. Thanks for coming. Hey, we wanted to, we've been wanting to talk to you for a little bit now. He's been a day one guy here with us since Hyannis. Just said about Ohio State. Go Buckeyes this season. So let's just jump straight into things here, Trey. Speaking of Ohio State. That's a little bit of a funny one. You're at Ohio State, yet you live 40, 45 minutes or so from Rivals, Michigan in Ann Arbor. So Ohio State, that's a bit of a that's a bit of a funny one jumping across right, lines, right. isn't it? Yep, yep, totally. Uh, Michigan, Michigan State, they didn't really heavily recruit me or offer me, so Ohio State thankfully did and it made my decision pretty easy. Yeah, easy enough. Easy enough just going straight to Ohio State crossing enemy lines. And so you had a good season there and um, Columbus is an up and coming program. What are you what are you saying about the program? How did you like it there this season? I loved it. Um, we have we had a new coaching staff come in this year, so it was it was definitely new and unique, but they're great people and great coaches and they're they're making everyone better. So it's it's definitely on the come up and I'm really excited for this season. That's great. And now me, of course, being another resident Big Ten guy, I'm a Maryland guy. I know we headed out there and you had a little of a fun conversation with our second baseman, Kevin Keister, didn't you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Keister and the Maryland boys, they definitely, you know, get rowdy after mm -hmm. their wins and, and like to celebrate them. And, you know, it's cool to see they're cool peoples. And it was, it was a fun weekend against them. Yeah, absolutely. Keister being one of our starting second basemen, Matt Shaw being one of seven guys drafted this year for Maryland. Have a few guys out here on the Cape. Nigel Belgrave getting drafted, Dave Falco playing for the reigning champ Spawn. But hey, out here in Hyannis, time to get a championship of our own and get that over over the Maryland boys, right? Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> absolutely. We have to. So let's, let's move on a little bit, talk about Hyannis a little bit here. So you're in Ohio State at Columbus having a good season. Did you? What were your thoughts about doing summer ball anywhere? You have summer ball experience. You right. played with the Northwoods League. Right. So when Hyannis came calling, how did you go about that, and what was that process kind of like? Oh, so, yeah, my coach told me he got me in the Cape and uh, told me I was going to be playing for the Hyannis Harbor Hawks. And, you know, the Cape Cod League is something I've always wanted to do. It's such a prestigious league, and, you know, I was thrilled to get to play for uh, such a great team. Yeah, absolutely. And and what, I mean, what a great place Cape Cod is too, right? What do you like the best about it, being able to live out here this whole summer? Oh, uh, definitely, you know, the food's grown on me. Mm. I wasn't, I was, I like seafood. I like fried okay. shrimp and that kind of stuff. But, okay. you know, I started to try other things like lobster rolls and stuff. So it's grown on me and I like the food here. We've got a segment that we do called Friday Night Bites, uh -huh. and I'm a picky eater myself. Yeah. So you're, you're doing way better than me. <laughs> That's all I'm saying in the eating department. Are you, you're an ice cream guy too, right? Where's, oh, where's, yeah. the, where's the favorite ice cream place? Uh, I, I couldn't tell you. You know, I've, right. been, I've been to a lot of different places, but you know, I'm not, I'm not a huge ice cream guy. Okay. So. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. But hey, at least you're getting out here, getting that ice right, cream in you, right? right? And so, Hyannis being a good spot for you, you've now worked yourself in to the everyday starting lineup, being here from day one, as we mentioned. And I mean, we we talk about it all the way on the broadcast almost every day about how much families work in this league, whether it be host families, whether it be whether it be relative blood families. You've had a very special visitor up here for a week or two, haven't you? Oh, yeah. Nana's been out, and uh, she's been supporting. She brought the cowbell and everything, yeah. and she's been at you know every game she can be, and she's you know one of my biggest supporters, so it's been huge to have her. And what, what does that support mean for her? Where, where does she come from to, to be able to see the games? Um, so she lives in Florida. Wow, um, okay. So she, she brought down the camper. She has a big RV, so she brought that down, and she was staying at a campground with my wow. grandpa. And... Uh, they were out supporting every game, and it means the world to me. So, I love that. I didn't know they were. I didn't know they had an RV. That's so cool. Yeah. So what? That must have taken them days to get up here. Yeah, yeah. I think it took <laughs> them. You know, it, it was a little trip for them. So. <laughs> it had to have been yeah. all the way up here from Florida. It takes me about four hours from New York right. to get here. So all the way up from Florida. Yep. That's got to be some trip. So Nana's up here. How how long has she been up here? Uh, she actually just left today okay. this morning. So, Aw, that's. Yeah. But well, that, she was up here yeah. pretty much from June fifth till wow. till now. How oh, great, and she's and she's come to away games as well. Yep, yep. That's great. That's great. And as I've said, we've talked about my family being up here now myself just to be able to see what we're all doing. Host families and and close blood relative families just 
at the center of everything that goes on here on the Cape. And now, getting back to your playing now, we've seen you at all three spots in the in the Hyannis outfield. We even saw you at designated hitter a few days ago. We seem to really notice that you've turned a corner at YD. What was it that you saw and felt in your swing that you have now carried over through the rest of the games up to this point? Um, it was really just sticking with the process. Um, every day I have a routine. I go through my routine, do my hitting and my early work. And, uh, you know, thankfully, YD was kind of the day that, you know, it kind of kind of showed. But, you know, it's really just sticking with the process down here. And, you know, maybe a little tweaks to my approach here and there. But, you know, nothing too crazy. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we can tell you from our, from our broadcast, something your approach has not changed in. It's wearing them a little right. bit. You've got, seems like you got a bit of a magnet in that Evo shield, yeah. <laughs> don't you? <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I don't know what it is. I yeah. can't tell you. Uh, I even stepped off the plate a little bit, and <laughs> it's still finding a way to hit me, so. And listen, that's getting that on-base percentage up there. That's right. for sure. He's got the stolen bases to him, and now he's getting the walks, the hit by pitches, and now even the hits are coming as well. And that's earned this guy an all-star nod. So yes, congratulations sir. on making the all-star team. So what what do you think? I don't know. So what is the, the process there going to be like? Is it going to be any different? Is it just going to be a bit more laid back on the day itself? or? I'm still going to go through my normal routine and do that kind of stuff. Um, you know, obviously, I've never been in an all-star game here, so I'm not sure how it's going to work when I get there, but I'm excited, and we'll see how it goes. So you got five more guys that you're going with, uh, Cam Smith, Jamie Arnold among the names. It's going to be, are you guys going to be hanging with each other on that day as well before the festivities start? Uh, we haven't really talked too much about it yet. Okay. We haven't, but, you know, We'll definitely be hanging together while we're there. Oh yeah, because uh, you know those are the only boys we we know there. So, but it's definitely going to be exciting. So, exciting season for Trey. Exciting season for the team. They're on a roll. Well, that's all we've got here for us, Trey. Thanks so much for joining us on Inside the Nest. Michael Kirsting, Trey Lipsy coming at you on Inside the Nest. Have a good one, everybody. Go Hawks. Go Hawks. Mm -hmm.